In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I use Midjourney to create text. And with those texts, I'm going to use it to create a package design. Let's go ahead and jump straight into Discord. So here's the first prompt that I input into Discord. Basically, lemon, cherry, gelato. And then I put in label design. As you can see, it's okay, but nothing crazy, nothing that pops out to me. And then I figured, let's try something else. So I put in logo instead of label design. Again, nothing crazy, nothing pops out to me. Then I tried another one. This time I typed in typography. So they have like the lemon right there, the text, but again, nothing too crazy. And I was like, you know what? Maybe typing lemon cherry gelato is too much. So let me do just one word. So I went with gelato and I just type in ice cream typography. So now it's getting a little bit better because right here, you can see the uh, the blue right there, like the shadow, but it's not quite where I want it. Now down here, same thing, gelato, ice cream typography, but then I add it in the style of liquid emotion printing. So here's the four image. So I kind of like that. It's getting to like a 3D type, but again, trying to look for something that pops out that catches my eye right away. And then I typed in Gelato, dripping vector typography. I misspelled dripping, but it generated the one I liked, which is this one. So I like the 3D. So I guess it was a good thing that I misspelled it. And then for the lemon text, I tried the same thing. Lemon, dripping vector typography. I like that one. I like that one. So I'm like, all right, so I like these two. Let me try lemon cherry. So the first four image came out like this. You can see this uh, N misspelled that one. And then for the next four, that one's not too bad. But then the one that I really like was this one. So I used that one. All right, so I have both of these images here in Photoshop. So this one and this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I crop this out. Just zoom in and I'm just use the pen tool. Just go here, just like the pen tool. All right, so once you have the selection around it, I'm gonna go path, hold control, it'll make a selection. And I'm just gonna go ahead and make a copy. Just create a new layer. So this new layer, I'm just gonna make it white. I just wanna see what else I need to clean up and crop out with this one. Actually, I'm just gonna make it a different color. Let's do like a green, just fill that in. Alt, backspace. Now I'm gonna go here, control L, bring up the levels. Let's brighten the white. Kind of like that, click OK. And let's go here to the eraser tool, background eraser. And this one, select that. And let's go ahead, delete all the white. All right, I'm just go back to the regular eraser tool. Just bring the size of this down. Hardness all the way up. So just go here, hardness all the way up, size about 80. And I'm just delete all this. Alright, so for this one, I'm gonna use the pen tool because I'm not that great with the brush tool. So I'm just make a point like that. Right click. Make selection for that zero. Click OK. Let's go ahead and delete that. Control D to select. And let's fix this right here. I don't know what that is. I'm going to use the pen tool. Make a point on the left, on the right. Go ahead and uh, close that out. And I'm just going to go ahead and use the smudge tool. Strength. Let's do about 74. And just bring that down. I forgot one thing though. Gotta click undo. Gotta go back to the pen tool. Right click. Make a selection. Further at zero. Click OK. Now I'll go back to the smudge tool. Control D to select. Let's create a new layer. When we erase the background, we deleted the highlights in the text. 
So to bring that back, we just go in, select the empty layer, B for brush, hit D for default, and X to toggle between the two. So make sure that's white. And I'm just going to go ahead and just paint in some of the highlights. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and select both of this. Control E to merge it. Bring up the lasso, so shortcut is L. And I'm just going to make a selection around the lemon text. Hold Control Shift J. He'll put it to his own layer like that. Bring this up. All right, so for the lemon text, I'm going to change the saturation. So I'm going to do Control Alt U. Make sure it's on colorize and saturation all the way up. Just make it yellow like that. Increase the lightness. Click OK. All right, so for the lemon text, just double click it. Select the stroke. And I'm going to sample a red like that. Click OK. The size may be 7. And see those dots? we got to clean up those pixels. So I'm going to zoom in. Just hit E for the eraser tool. Just go in here. So when you do like a stroke or outer glow, and it has those bubble looking thing, it's because there's some pixel over here, some right there. Let's go ahead and just delete that. All right, that looks good. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to double click this. Let's do a drop shadow. Before we do that, I forgot one right here. All right, let's do a drop shadow. Not out of glow. Drop shadow. Hit in the same. Make it that red. Opacity all the way up. Increase that. Bring the distance down. Size just maybe about six. So before, after. Because I like the, um, the outer stroke on top to be smaller than the bottom. Because if you see it before, after. You just give it that, like a different look. Now I'm going to right click this, copy layer style, and I'm going to paste it to the cherry. And I'm going to show all those dots again. We're going to clean that up. But let's go ahead and uh, change the color of the stroke to the yellow. Drop shadow to the yellow. Click OK. And let's go down here and erase all this. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and just right click, convert to smart object. Disable that. Go ahead and delete the green. Disable this. And I'm going to save this. All right, so for the gelato, I'm going to use the pen tool. So I'm hit P for the pen tool. Just go ahead and zoom in. And I'll just make a point here, point there. All right, now let's go to path, hold control, make a selection. Let's go down here. I'm just make a copy, control J, and I'm going to do the same thing. Oh, I forgot to crop that out. Let's do that. All right, so I'm just right click, 
make a selection for that zero, click OK, go ahead and delete that, Control D to select, and I'm going to right click, convert that to a smart object, just create a new layer, and I'm just fill that in with black, Control T, just rotate it like that, let's bring back the lemon text. Had it kind of like that because I like the uh, a little drip over this text. Control T for the cherry. Rotate it a little bit. Kind of like that. Control T, maybe right click, distort, bring this up kind of like that. like that how it goes right there so there's not much negative space there so before you leave if you found anything helpful in this video please give it a thumbs up that let me know that i should create more of these type of videos and again thanks for watching and i'm gonna see you guys next time